Hello everyone, how you doing? Uh, this video is on rehousing my pubic goddess female, big six inch girl there, and I will be putting her into this new setup that I just made, and uh, details on how to make this setup are posted also here on YouTube, so um, you can check it out. Um, pretty cool setup, just has the background with a cork bar half and half uh, did this one a little different just kind of using spare parts I had and the natural bark hide and some terraria moss on there just to cover up the hot glue joints and so try to make it look as cool as possible <clears throat> simple ideas on how to make a setup for your tea okay I will pause for just a moment so that I can bring this credit keeper down here and open the lid and get her ready for the transfer then we will be back. See y'all guys shortly. Um, be right back in a few. Okay guys, so here she is. Um, big P Regalis Pokey. Have the lid open and I will take this container and put it into her new setup. So I will just lay it on top of here like this. And guide her out so that she can crawl right into that cork bark back there and I have this snake hook here that I use to just kind of like softly go in here and tap her a little bit and as you can see just kind of guiding her through here And they don't always want to go in the direction you want them to. So just continue to work with her and try to get her up there. She appears to be pre mold maybe. I got her from someone in a trade, so um, I know he had a, a Pirigal smell, so possibility she might be gravid if he bred her before I got her. Um, that would be great. But if not, she has a really, really huge abdomen. And you can see there's crickets in there, so she stopped eating already. So it might just be pre molt. So let me just try to get her in here. She doesn't want to go. She's used to her. And she's pretty gentle. Whenever I got her, I actually guided her into the critter keeper just by by touching her. Just tapping her a little bit in the back and she went right in. So let's wait here for a minute and see what happens. Maybe if it's not so hard if I just tap her a little bit. She will go in there, or maybe not. Maybe that's actually good. She just kind of turned around. So, let's see, let me try to guide her in there. There we go. Don't want to upset her, just trying to get her into her new setup. this snake hook back in here and just try to work her there she goes when she touches that cork bark she might just climb in there there she goes I'm trying to watch the camera as I do this to make sure that I'm getting this shot cool so we got her in there. So there she is. Let me just remove this critter keeper. All right. So there she is. Big P regalis female. She's a big girl. 
awesome tea. She has really cool color. So she is about to molt. These guys usually like will emerge about one and a half, two inch bigger sometimes. They just grow like crazy. But that's pretty much it. She's in there now. I'll love it. give her some time to adjust to her new home. And we'll do a follow up video, see how she's doing. Oop, didn't mean it started over there. She moved back a little bit. Close these in there. Let's try to get a shot of her up here. A little bit of a reflection. I'll just spin this around. A good amount of reflection actually. So I will just let her settle in and then I'll do a follow-up video. She'll be joining my other teas over here. I have my pokey tanks there. You can see my strayata over here. She's out and about. She tends to come out more than the others. This is my Peter Gallus that um, I built the other bark enclosure for. And it's natural bark and she never comes out. She goes in there. You can see the opening. It's really small and she just likes to climb in through that opening up in the top. Then of course my P Metallica. You can see her back there. She has real cool color. Let me try to shine some light on her, see if you can see her. Not that great, but um, I'll do a video on her because she's like really cool. Big, big Metallica. And she stays hidden in the back there most of the time. But every now and then in the mornings, she'll come out and walk around a little bit. So that's basically it. Piri Gallus is in her new home. And everything's good. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. And there will be more videos to come. Thanks everyone.